Hello everybody, I am the Solar Gamer, and welcome back to City Skylines After Dark. Welcome to Solaropolis, the beautiful European city that uh, I I just, I really love. Again, uh, I haven't played with the European um, city theme, um, which is it's very, very interesting because I'm only playing with like the generic, I'm, I'm not going to say it's American theme, but it's very, very generic building type um, that, you, that you would find in America. So, playing as a European, uh, you know, theme, it's just, it's, it's really, really interesting. I like it a lot. I do. Um, now, I'm not sure if the buildings necessarily reflect all that, but the, definitely the public services and, uh, I mean, some of these buildings look European, like I said before. This one does. This one definitely does with all the random colors on it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Maybe. We'll see. I mean, what would be really interesting is if they're going for these themes, is I would really, really like to see a, a you know, like an Asian theme. An Asian theme would be amazing, uh, as well as like an African theme or a Middle Eastern theme. I mean, that would be amazing to have those. Now, SimCity actually had the European theme before as well. Um, but if City Skylines kind of takes that one step further and goes Asian, Middle Eastern, African, different, you know, countries here and there for themes, that would be absolutely amazing. Seriously. And you'd, you'd definitely uh, have my support for, uh, well, you already have my support, but you'd have more of my support. All right, so what are we doing this episode? Well, we're going to go ahead and expand the residential section uh, and the industry section. So I was going to take this tile over here to actually start work on my permanent city, but I think I'm going to have to take this because I kind of boxed my industry into a corner, which is not going to work out for me. So let's go ahead and do this. Buy this 2,500 ducats. City bucks, dollars, whatever it is, I, I actually don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and expand this outward. Okay, let's go and make this perfect. There we go. And again, on this side, we'll only do two, just for the time being. But we'll keep that expanded so that we can keep adding more if we need to. And over here is going to be an issue. Because this. We need to work on this. So if we do that. Ugh, that's going to be so bad with traffic. But you know what? I really have no other option there. Uh, okay. Switch that uh, directional with the update tool. You just right click on these guys and it changes the direction. And uh, we'll just go from here. So we'll come all the way down. And then we'll go ahead and do the rotation tool. And then just do that little, yeah, that little uh, snippet right there. That should be fine. I mean, the real issue with, uh, oh, are we doing this? Ah, uh, crap. There we go. The real issue with this would be, normally, doing something like this would reduce your chances of making, you know, enough buildings in the center. But... It only reduced it by three spots, which isn't that much at all. So, go ahead and work on these guys. And I think we're going to need some more commercial as well. So, let's make another section. Again, this is all temporary. This is not staying. This is like a, a FEMA camp, if you will. A, a very large FEMA camp. These guys are going to move into the permanent city, which will be spanning this entire area. But it will look a lot nicer than this. The one problem that I find with City Skylines, or any city building game, is starting your building off. You can't really future-proof things in the very beginning, or else you'll waste your money. So, I find that doing this kind of temporary camps, or temporary stations right here, are actually a lot better. Alright, there we go. Perfect. We'll make commercial in these two. Ah, uh, yeah. Crap. Uh, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. Alright. Uh, oops. We'll get rid of you. Yeah, you need more workers. I know, they're coming. Wow, they really are coming. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> wow. How's your electricity? Uh, let's build another wind turbine. Over here. Oh, water. Thank you for reminding me, guys. You're probably dehydrated, and that's why you're asking for it, but... Actually, no, you probably just want to take showers. That's... You needy little people. You can go to the grocery store and buy some bottled water. You don't need, uh... <laughs> you don't need me to give you piping. 
How dare you? All right, let's just go out from here. Perfect. Uh, we will... Well, we don't need to work on the other industry right now. Because there's already issues in here. Dang it. Uh, we will need some more commercial, I think. Oh, a tiny town! Which means that we've reached a population of 1,300, which is perfect. So we've unlocked new services, decorations, so parks, uh, level 2 unique buildings. We'll take a look at those. New policies, all of these great policies, and a high school. Again, European-themed. I don't know why I'm still on that. Uh, I, I just... I don't know. I really like it. Unique buildings. What do we unlock? Oh my god. Wait a minute. I think it did change it. Right? Because 600 city service buildings? Oh my god. But I want Amsterdam Palace. So, did it change the unique buildings for us then? Yes, it did! We have the London Eye. Oh my god, that's amazing. Holy crap. So, apparently, the, uh, the European theme also changes the buildings in here. Well, some of them. Like, I think the cathedral was already... Well, I don't know, actually. I haven't really looked at it, but yeah, you got you got the, the gherkin. The beautiful egg-shaped kind of... What's that style? Uh, they make, like, porcelain eggs like that, too. But anyway, it's in London. Uh, you also have the Amsterdam Palace, of course, in Amsterdam. Uh, department store, of course. <laughs> wow. Very nice. City Hall. The parks didn't change, but that I wouldn't expect they would. I'm, I'm excited now. That's really, really nice. Now I'm wondering what the landmarks are in uh, any other theme. Interesting. I'll have to go and check after this, because I, I, I am really interested in that. Alright, while we have the districts, let's go ahead and uh, kind of work on them here. Now, I will be doing a space theme for my districts, as uh, some people may know from my older series. But uh, the first camp here, and I say camp, uh, I actually mean like temporary slum, is going to be called... Let's go, come on, hurry up. Get in there. Uh, I actually don't know what I'm going to call it right now, so I'm just going to call it temporary... Living. Sure. Uh, if you guys can think of a better name than that, I really can't think right now. Something that involves space, but also temporariness. Tempor- temp- Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna stop. Uh, and over here, of course, we will just make this the smog zone, which is what I like to call the industry, because, uh, obviously it references the, uh, the twilight zone. And we'll keep the, the smog zone for the actual city as well. Nope, not solar. Smog zone. Perfect! Okay, policies. Uh, actually, before I do anything, let's include the, uh, the trash. We'll fix that once we finish this, uh, little area in here. Alright, smog zone. Let's see, what are you gonna do first? I think we're gonna do the power usage, so essentially we're gonna make them watch their electricity usage by giving them meters. And this is going to moderately reduce electricity consumption, which is perfect. We'll do that in both these places here. And good to go. Alright, and we're just letting these guys build up now. See what they want to build. In fact, uh, no, you guys have a lot of room to actually build up, so you might as well just keep going. Oh, there's a fire. Do we have any more services? Yes, a high school. Alright, we'll add that over here. Oh, that's humongous. Holy crap. Uh, what? Why is it so big? Okay. We'll have to add our own section for that. Like that, and then add these over this way. All right, that's that's that. <laughs> that's that. Again, we're gonna have to do that road thingy. There it is. Uh, that kind of screwed it up a little bit more, but uh, that's all right. It's a small little area. We're actually not gonna build in it right now, anyway. Uh, we do need more commercial though, so build over here. Thank you very much. All right, what do we have for uh, industries here? So, Big Bite is obviously a big chain, uh, and instead of combining this all into one gigantic building, they decided they needed three separate lots. Very nice. Uh, the convenience store, and another convenience store, and smack dab in the middle is a drug store, which uh, is... Why the heck does it have patio chairs? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you, you get your prescription, you walk out there, you're nice... You, 
pop them in your mouth while you're sitting down. Nice relaxing parking lot stay. What the heck is that? That doesn't... <laughs> I was so confused. But you know what? It's fine. Uh, okay. Health will probably need to be expanded if we're gonna build a uh, residence down here. As well as fire. In fact, that probably should be expanded already. And, of course, this. Uh, we can add the TARDIS somewhere. That's not a... There's the TARDIS. Uh, we'll add the TARDIS in. Right smack dab in the middle here, because why not? The TARDIS lands where it wants to land. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. And, yeah, it does spread some police stuff, but I'll, I'll build another station over here anyway. I just want the TARDIS in there. Yeah, for some reason, it is technically a police box. It's not actually a TARDIS mod, uh, but yeah, it's fine. It works the same. I need to fix this image, though. So, this is the high school, huh? This looks very, very nice. It's got... What is this? Up here at the top. They have fencing at the top. Are they worried kids are going to jump? But see, they care about this, right? But then they have a ladder up here that you can just jump from here, which is even higher. More chance of... Like, what? What? I'm confused. Is this a thing that they have at, at, at European schools? I'm, I'm not entirely sure here. What does that say? Uh, Pinkman High School. I think it says Pinkman. I can't really actually see it. I can't zoom in fast or close enough there. It doesn't say up here either. I don't know. No idea. All right, school. So, uh, elementary is okay. We're gonna have to add another one over here as well if we're gonna want uh, to connect this to a residential section. And this is spreading all over. Wonderful. All right, we need some more residents. Good to know. Let's get them in here. Right, this is going to actually bug me. I mean, I know this is temporary, but let's just add one in there anyway. Keep forgetting about the water needs of my people. Uh, actually, I didn't, need to, I didn't even need to do this. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, when's the next upgrade? Oh, very, very shortly here. And we're going to unlock another 2x2. Two two. All right, let's get there in this episode, and then we're going to go ahead and stop the episode. And here we are. Boomtown. There we go. Another 2x2 two two, uh, kilometer square area that we're going to go ahead and grab on this side. We unlocked transport services, level 3 unique buildings, buses, taxis, uh, new specializations. We unlocked new roads, of course. Uh, intersections, which we'll work on once we can get rid of this section here to kind of work on the uh, highway. We unlocked the uh, the bus lanes and taxi lanes. And, uh, oh, new buildings. All right, cemetery, advanced wind turbine, the bus depot, and the taxi depot, which we'll work on next episode. Unique buildings. I saw level three get unlocked. Did it not? Oh, that's tourism and leisure. Level one, level two, level three. Okay, so we got the grand mall, the tax office, the courthouse, colossal order. Okay, so this stuff is, is just part of the game itself. It's not actually uh, unique to the European theme. But this is still awesome. Okay, well, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.